YouTube family, my junk family, what up, though? It's Mr. AMG coming at you live from Third Shift. Third Shift, man. Shout out to everybody working Third Shift, man. Vamp life, man. <laughs> That's all I can say, man. You got to be cut from a different cloth to work this shift right here, man. And still get up in the morning and chase your dreams, man. All right? Dreams don't work unless you do, baby. All right? Got to get at it. So, uh, yo, I figured, man, why not share, man, some of my positives and negatives with y'all tonight, man. You know, y'all my family, man. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it all the way G with y'all real quick, man, briefly. And then I need y'all help with something, you know, towards the end of this video. Do me a favor, man. Like share subscribe man if y'all still rocking with the content if you already ain't subscribed have not subscribed man please do so by hitting that subscribe button you know what i mean checking out some of my other content man um i just try to keep it as transparent as possible no gimmicks no gags nothing like that man just you know all the way all the way what it is over here solid yo um so positive got a phone call from a customer who been following amg on social media for about six months now, he say. Very impressed with what we do. He wanted to learn more about the service we provided, particularly the load and go. So I explained the load and go to him. Um, he wanted to get signed up, got him signed up for the end of the week. We're gonna go ahead and knock that out for him. You know, um, he's looking to build some type of relationship with us because he wants to do business down the road. So we definitely welcome that. Um, Yo, it was a humbling conversation because he was expressing so much gratitude, um, a lot of kind words, man, a lot of motivation, man, a lot of moral support, you know, that is needed, man, that I really appreciate from time to time because, um, you know, sometimes we do all this hard work, man, and we feel like it go unnoticed, but that just goes to show that people are watching, all right? So, you know, you just got to stay down and stay at it. Um, you know, he was explaining to me like how the service man is unique. He hadn't seen anything like this around here and, you know, a whole bunch of things, man. And it was just like, I'm just glad he taking notice and not just him, other people, you know, um, have been taking notice too. Um, it's just amazing what can come to somebody when, you know, you, you, you sit there and you, you know, you remove all of the, the distractions and you just focus on what can you do to provide a better service. That's just something I do. I try to provide the best service possible day in and day out. Um, the proof is in the work, you know what I mean? And the proof is in the comments, um, the reviews that people leave on the platforms. So that's a big positive right there. Um, a not so positive, went to unload the dump trailer today only a little bit fell out. I was like, oh boy, oh boy, here we go again. But we was in single digit temps earlier. Stuff was frozen to the bottom of the container. Um, so I had to hit it with the shovel, you know, loosen it up, get some of it out, climb up in there, get a lot of that stuff up out of there. Construction debris type stuff, man. Thankfully it was placed in construction garbage bags. You know what I mean? Um, I, I definitely appreciated that. Um, a lot of people just like to throw that construction debris in there, like laughs and wood and stuff like that. You know, me personally, I prefer the bags. Um, you know what I mean? It's just it's just better for things like this because that wood and stuff like that could have just all been stuck to the bottom of the container and it could have just made for a rough, rough morning. Um, and it, Valentine's morning, man. So I was just getting it in on Valentine's Day, you know, why I could spread love the best way I know how by dropping these containers off, you know what I mean? Every time I see a container of mine sitting in somebody's yard, you know what I mean? Just, it, it just, I get filled up with joy and love, man. You know what I mean? Just from seeing it there, man, because I was able to deliver a piece of me to a piece of you or a piece of them, whoever it may be, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, so uh, that was, that was, that was the, you know, not so, but you know, thankfully I got up in there. I got that stuff up out the way. And it was what it was, is what it is. Um, so, what I need help with. Now that I got the heavy duty um, dump trailer, you know, I got the custom dump trailer done and out the way. All right. And so, it, it's some weight, especially when I'm pulling some weight. And, you know, I'm riding the 1500 work truck. So, you know, I can feel it. 
You feel me? We're going to do what we got to do to beef up our suspension the best way we can for the time being. But I am in the market for a new truck. I'm saving my money and I'm going to get me a new truck, something that can haul heavier loads, something that got more torque. You know what I mean? Something that got some severe, strong braking power, something that got a beefy transmission, something that has a reliable engine. All right. Now, I need y'all help, man, because I want to go diesel. I don't want to go gas. I'm confused with the biodiesel and the turbo diesels and all of those things, man. I need y'all help. Which one is better? Which truck do you recommend? I hear a lot of good and a lot of bad about all these trucks out here, man. Um, lately, I've been looking at Dodges and I've been looking at Fords, um, the F-350 Super Duty, Dually, and um, you know the Dodge Ram, the Laramie, um, Super Laramie, not Super Duty, the Laramie Dually, you feel me? Um, I like the interior, man, of the, the Dodges versus Fords, man. Um, but I hear pros and cons about both, man, because I hear in the weather I live in, Dodge isn't that great, you know, um, because of the salt and all of that stuff, man. So y'all let me know which truck, man, are y'all riding in right now? And which truck are you more satisfied with? Um, which truck do you plan on getting if you don't have a truck? All right, what's your dream truck? You know, for me, it would be the GMC Sahara Denali HD 3500. Um, but those trucks are a bit pricey right now out of my price range. I'm looking, you know, at the years around, let's just say 2016 to about 2020, in between there. Um, if I can find something a little bit older, I would, but I don't want to go anything older than a 15. Um, I just don't. So any anywhere from a 2015 to a 2020, um, that's reasonably priced. I'm not looking to go too overboard. Y'all let me know. Um, also, you know, for some reason, I like the regular cab duties, man. Um, Y'all let me know what's the difference between the regular cab duties and the crew cab duties. Um, you know, which one do you prefer? I don't want an extended cab duty. I don't like, I don't like the way those look. Um, but yeah, I need help, man, with, with, with that, man. Is it Ford? Is it, is it Dodge? Um, you know what I mean? Is it, so basically, is it the, is it the Super Duty? I don't know if it's the Power Stroke or whatnot with the Ford, man. Is it the Cummins Diesel? You know what I mean? Or is it the Duramax? Um, you know, let me know which one do y'all prefer. Also, which one has the better transmission? Which one has the better 4x4? braking power, all of those things I need help with, man. And what's a good price range? Because the price of trucks are still through the roof to me right now, all right? Um, for the price of a used one, too, I mean, man, I didn't see used trucks, you know, right now, man, with like over uh, 200,000 miles on them, man, going for like $15,000, man, and these are like 2005s. I could go put that money down on a newer truck, man. I don't know why or what the deal is with that, but y'all let me know. Also, man, let me know what's good mileage, man, for a used diesel truck. I need a truck that got some 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 ass on it that can haul some things, cause you know we about to haul haul some things. I got some other things I'm thinking about doing with the hauling game, so I need a diesel. That's what I want to go with. Y'all let me know which diesel y'all recommend. Drop a comment, man. Hope everybody have a safe safe and peaceful night man i won't get mine until the morning check y'all out later peace